Hi, I'm Kevin Ryan. I coordinated the course on TBLT, or task-based language teaching, for ITDI this last spring. It's part of the series of courses called Great Minds, focusing on people and ideas in language learning and teaching. I felt honored, and to be honest, a little bit chuffed, when Stephen Herter contacted me in 2020 with the idea of a new, longer format course geared towards a book on a specific topic. My first reaction was to fall back on my specialty, technology and language teaching. But Stephen posed the leadership as a way to learn something myself that I've always been curious about. Casting about for ideas, I discovered a book on TBLT published in 2019. It was a full-on treatment of task-based learning and teaching by five luminaries, or great minds, I call them, in the field. Rod Ellis, Peter, Peter Skian, Naoko Shintani, Xiaofeng Li, and Craig Lambert. The book, on first reading, turned out to be a big gulp. It would be a race to cover all the topics adequately in eight weeks. What made the book special was that it looked at TBLT from five different perspectives. The first is cognitive interactionist, focusing on Prabhu and the early researchers. We waded into very deep chapter of psycholinguistics to learn from Skian and Peter Robinson. Next up was the social cultural sociocultural perspective with James Lantoff. Then the psychological perspective, taking from Dornier and motivation, mostly. The educational perspective dealt mostly with classroom research and was the perfect segue into the more practical application of this research, where the last three weeks we discussed syllabus design, methodology, and evaluation. Now, early on, I started blogging about the course prep, partly to keep myself honest and partly to drum up interest. I also kept track of the time. Of the 164.2 hours so far, about two thirds went into preparation and a third on the joys of leading a really creative, diverse group of educators. I don't remember who joked first that this was a graduate school without the grades, but they got it almost right. I've taught postdoc scientists in a national grad school prep by the Ministry of Agriculture in China and to University of Tokyo students and to tiny graduate courses at my main university. These made me realize that the opportunity at ITDI would be monumental if it worked. And worked it did. All the people stepped up at ITDI, including Scott, emailing and cajoling people to try this new format with a relative unknown like me. We ended up with my perfect number of, uh, for students in a class, 12. They were all full-time educators from seven different countries in a wide variety of teaching situation, which made for great discussion. After the first couple of weeks, we settled into a pattern best geared to our commitments. The readings led to a set of questions about aspects we agreed with, were surprised by, and those we thought questionable. Our weekly discussions focused mostly on the surprising elements, and we continued online with the others. My job during the class as a leader and coordinator was made really easy by the wealth of experience and background knowledge of our members. The bar was set high by the book, but each week the 12 brought the research alive with their own concerns and perspectives. It was a post-grad heaven. I'm looking forward to teaching this course again. I also have an idea for another Great Minds book, and you might as well. I'm also looking forward to the two new courses this fall, where Stephen and Dorothy can take what we've learned and make their courses even better. Here's to Great Minds.